Hello everyone, Captain Dread here. Um, this is going to be the guide on the level 60 potions and scrolls. Um, these are basic staples that every DPS should have, and uh, healers don't have to worry th about this as much unless they are running out of MP, in which case you will definitely be using MP potions. So, um, anyway, to make these potions, you have to be uh, level 250 in alchemy. Um, raising your alchemy to 250 or any crafting to 250 is really easy. All you gotta do, open up my map here, go into Alamanthia, just go to Strategic Command. Um, as you can see, it's in the, th the south eastern side of Alamanthia. Um, there's Strategic Command and Kyator and Velika, so go to any of those. You'll see some quests that will easily take you up to 250 in any of the crafting. So if you're not at 250 in alchemy, go do that first. And come back and uh, con we'll continue this here. So, here at the crafting table, if we go into alchemy, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go to favorites. And you can see several favorites here that I have. Um, the most important thing and the recipes that you will be seeing if you get your alchemy to 250 is uh, are, are these two recipes right here. So, mana potions take 18 lightning essences and two master kits and um, that will give you five mana potions. Now keep in mind, these are the healing over time potions which actually heal more than the single use potions. Um, I prefer to use these because they do heal more and there aren't very many instances when I need 20k HP right away. Um, most of the time I, I try to steer clear of situations like that. So, I mean, this is it. These are the best potions in the game for level 60s to use. Um, oh, well, not the best, but the most efficient, I'll say, and the easiest to obtain. Now, for me, if you're a player who already had these recipes from before, um, before they changed them, you'll notice that the recipes for the old potions are a little bit different. So here, you actually need these Galvis Slav, and for the elixirs, you actually need this Luria Slav. And um, those are those are basically just... As you can see right here, this is the Luria Salav. It takes it takes the same amount of resources, so you're not really gaining much there by using the old recipes. And um, yeah, that's that about wraps it up for potions. I will go ahead and show you a couple good gathering places at the end of the video. Um, next of sort of business is the scrolls, and as you can see here, the onslaught scroll of savagery fives. Uh, scroll of Savagery, increase your power multiplier by 1.34 for 15 minutes. This is an absolute must-have for all DPS. Uh, you crit higher, and these things are super cheap to make. So, my Scroll of Savagery actually costs Zersteel ingots, because this is an old recipe from, from prior to them changing this recipe. But, if I go right over here to the Alchemy Formula seller, go into here... Let's go to scrolls, and let's go find Savagery 5. I passed it. Tenacity, warding, impact, swiftness, and Savagery. It was right on the front page. Let's go ahead and buy that one. And this is the new recipe that you guys will be getting. So now if we go back to the crafting table, alchemy, and scroll of savagery right there. We'll go ahead and favorite that one too. Okay, so now you can see this is the new recipe. It takes raw zermetal ore. Um, this is kind of the downside. This is the only negative <laughs> about using the new scrolls or the new recipes, in my opinion, because obtaining zersteel ingots is actually really, really easy. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how I do it really quick. So open up our crafting and extraction menu, go to extraction. Uh, if you don't know how to get all of your extraction up to tier 13, just go to any general merchant and they will sell you the scrolls to get to tier 13 extraction. Um, so click on metal extraction and then just extract any gear that's under tier 14. So tier 13 and below, you can extract. So here I am extracting and you'll see down here in the bottom portion, there's still ingots. Got 25 of them. 25 of them from extracting a blue weapon. Now, obviously, extracting blue or gold gear is the best. It'll give you the most. See, as you can see, gray gear, that only gave me one ingot. Um, so, anyway, you can see getting this, getting Xerseal ingots are extre it's extremely easy. Um, 
And if, since you guys are guildies and my friends, if you guys would like to just do this method and then send me the ingots, I can go ahead and craft them on this character, and it'll save you a whole bunch of time. Now, that being said, that's pretty much it for crafting. It's super simple. It's not anything difficult. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you the recipes again here really quick. So, for savagery, it's 15 ore, if you do it yourself, and then one scroll kit. Um, and then for the healing potions, it's 20 Luria fibers, and then two, two kits as well. And then for mana potions, it's 18 lightning essences and two kits. Uh, if you're wondering, wondering where those kits come from, they come from Greetings. the alchemy merchant. As you can see so right here, here are your scroll kits, and here are your alchemical kits, if that's if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> um, so now, let's go ahead and head out into the field, and I'll show you where I personally like to gather resources to do all of this fun crafting. So, as you can see, I am in Bastion here. Um, I am just right outside of town, uh, right where the gorillas are, and this is where I start my gathering run. Now, there is another very good place for gathering plants, and I'll show you that shortly right after this. But uh, usually, there are farmers there, and honestly, I think they are AFK farmers because they're there all the time. <laughs> so this is a really good alternative if you're just looking for plants. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, speed up this footage and just show you the path in which I go about collecting fibers in Bastion. So, as you can see, um, I basically just made a full circle right there, and now what I would do is go ahead and go back and do that circle again. Um, there is another place in Bastion that you can gather some more plants, some Luria fibers if you would like, uh, a place I would recommend, and that is over near the Wonder Home entrance, the uh, in entrance to the instance. So, we'll go over there right now and uh, collect some more over there. So now, here we are in uh, Canstria, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a good gathering place that you can do before Nexus. Um, and funny thing, actually, Nexus is going on right now, so I guess you're going to get to see me run past Nexus. So up here, this is in Argonia, by the way, if you didn't know that already. Um, up here is a really good spot to be gathering plants and essences before you run your Argonia Nexus. What I like to do is I like to gather on the way up there, um, but as you can see there are essences and plants dotted everywhere. Now I personally like to join Nexus 20-30 minutes early before the first nodes open, which is uh, just 10 minutes before the hour, so in 20 or 30 minutes I will generally get enough fibers to make about 20 pots for, of each kind, so 20 HP pots and 20 MP pots. And that is that is a decent amount. That's that's absolutely fantastic. So I would definitely recommend that you use your time before Nexus to do something like this and uh, it's definitely what I prefer to do, so there you go.
So, to get to the best gathering place for plants, um, I would definitely suggest going to Pathfinder Post, using the teleport the here, well, and go to this literally. field base Valiance, I believe is what it says. Um, it's in the northwestern section of the Valtir Kai area. And this spot is absolutely amazing. Um, I used to harvest at this spot long before uh, long before the game was free to play, and it has still it still stood the test of time and it is still definitely the best spot to gather plants. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to actually head back towards uh, towards the Tirakai forest area. And right here, this is one of the first nodes right here. So you go ahead, and gather this one. Um, I know my gathering isn't the fastest. Oh, see, there's somebody else here. <laughs> Darn it. So, like I said, there is almost some... There's so, somebody here almost every single time. So, finding this spot to be empty is quite challenging. They actually probably have the same thought that I did, that during Nexus there wouldn't be anybody here. <laughs> so, there are several nodes that spawn in here in this tunnel, and uh, they're super easy to gather, and they're super easy to, uh, it's just easy, there are no mobs or anything. So there's one hidden right here in the rock, make sure you gather that one, and then you'd come back, and then normally you'd have one that would spawn right about here, and as you can see there's one right here, and then as you can see there's another one right there. Oh, and that guy left. Perfect timing. Thank you very much, good sir. And so then you just go over here and gather. Now, usually I don't go out there to those nodes, uh, the ones that are outside of the tunnel, because these ones in here, since they're on a, a fault line, you could say, a fault line in between areas, the spawn rate seems to be absolutely amazing. Um, like, literally, all you have to do is run back and forth. Uh, a lot of people miss this, this one that's right here in the rock. You kind of have to get right in this nook Hopefully that makes sense to you to be able to gather it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the best place for plants. So here we are, back in Bastion. Um, on this bridge, it should seem somewhat familiar to you. Uh, we are here for the ore that is down in this area, right down in here. Um, this is a okay place to get ore. It's where I get ore if I ever need it. You can also get uh, plants, and I don't think there are any essences down here, but you can get tons of plants and tons of uh, ore down in this area. So here we are in our beautiful water oasis here in Bastion. I'm going to pop out a fire right here so we can go ahead and start crafting the, the pots that we just, uh, we just gathered the materials for. So if we hit J and go to our crafting menu, click on alchemy, um, here we go. We have materials for our new potion. So I'm going to go ahead and craft, let's see, let's craft, let's just create one set of these because I don't want you guys sitting here getting too bored. So as you can see, it takes a little time per, per craft, so I would recommend doing this in a town or a place where you're safe and when you have a little bit of time to AFK. So here I'm gonna, I'll, I'll create three of these so you can see how long three would take. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Um, it's very simple, very easy to do. I'll go ahead and create all of these Zersteel ingots I was holding for you guys um, while, uh, while I wrap this up. So let's do a quick recap. Um, the best place to get fibers is definitely in Bastion. Uh, that is my opinion, and I will stick by it because I absolutely love gathering here. The best place to get fibers and essences is uh, Northern Argonia. It's super simple to do. Um, you just keep running in that loop and you will always find nodes. That being said, I'm sure there's a better place to just do essences, but uh, that's where I like to go because I really don't need that many essences. Um, and then for ore, since I personally don't need a lot of ore, since I use the old crit scroll crafting recipes, which use the ingots instead of the raw material, um, I would say Bastion, because I don't use ore that often. Uh, you could look up on Google to see if there's another place to do ore, uh, but for me, this is more than enough. 
and as I stated in the beginning of the video, if you guys are my guildies, you are more than welcome to send me, uh, just go ahead and extract all of your T13 and below gear, and then just send me the ingots and some scroll kits, and I'll be more than happy to send some scrolls your way, because I know it's cheaper for me to do it, and, uh, it saves you a little hassle. So, um... That about does it for this guide. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long or too boring. Um, other than that, please uh, leave any suggestions down in the comment section down below. These guides are based off of experience, so I'm sure there are other tools and tips that I could use um, that, I, that I did not say in this guide. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Jamon!